Hi, howdy. How's everyone doing today? I'm taking you with me to my favorite spot that's kind of there. You're like close to it, hopefully. But there's nothing going on up there. And um, I'm gonna eat a food and I guess just talk shit. It's becoming more difficult for me to go up to the area I wanna go to because they're doing like reconstruction on some of the parts of the cemetery. But then also, like the parts that I'm going in, I, I'm not saying this is, I can't, okay. <clears throat> I'm not saying this is like a conspiracy, but like I'm not understanding something that's going on here. And um, what that is, I'm in the cemetery like a lot. Like I'm in the cemetery like, a few times during the week um like not like a full seven days or anything like that but i'm in the cemetery a lot and um every time i come there's a funeral in like the same section and i'm not understanding how it's a coincidence I'm sure it is, but I guess whatever, but I don't know how it was that all these people at the same time, at the same time period, all happen to be in the same spot. What? Okay, I'm in a spot, not my spot. I'm not in my spot, but I'm in a spot. Um, and I had to stop recording because my landlord texted me. He texted me. And he was like, oh, yeah, um, rent or you got to leave in five days. <laughs> so, like, that was crazy because I paid the rent um, a while ago. And um, I don't have that random amount just sitting around. You know what I mean? Like, um, so I called him and I was like, I sent that shit. And um, <laughs> he was like, did you? And I was like, yes, um, I sent you this. And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, my bad. But it's like why is it <laughs> why is it that extreme um i wanted to sit down and like eat or whatever and like record it because that's what the kids are doing and i just wanted to like talk shit so yeah like i was saying like i sort of don't get it. i'm not in my favorite section because there's i don't like being in sections when there's like a funeral going on because i think that's like i'm just sitting there like like um listening to dumb shit or like eating or like um like just being on my phone reading something or um like listening to a music or something like a cigarette or something and I, I know like they're having they're having family time and like they don't want a random at their family's funeral so like i just i'll just go somewhere else um, <laughs> so that was uh terrifying <laughs> i went to um farmer i went to farmer boy because I was feeling indecisive and negative. Um, so like, this isn't what I would like to normally, I feel like, get. Um, but I got it because like, I was having like, impulse feelings. Look at these zucchini. Look at, look at. And you know, like they're so, they're so big. <laughs> they were more crispy a little while ago because I grow from fucking um, El Segundo. No. Because I was at a job interview that I fucked up. And I know I fucked it up. Cheeseburger. They have veggie burgers there. But, um, impulse. Um, it has lettuce. Um, like a thousand island kind of thing. Tomato, onion, cheese, burger. Mmm. <coughs> Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Um, tastes good. Tastes good. Um. I went to a job interview, and I don't know, I was just like, I think I sort of psyched myself out too much. And I get really nervous. I get really nervous on job interviews. And after I have a job, I get used to it very quickly and I get comfortable very quickly and I understand what's going on extremely fast. Mm. But 
and nervous. I don't know how to make myself not nervous. Last night, I was trying to calm myself down, like, a lot. Like, I was taking, like, all these, um, non-stress, um, homeopathic whatever liquids, gummies and shit, like, squirting shit in my mouth. Um, trying to, like, take a bath and, like, like, like calm the fuck down. Uh -huh. I was, like, watching, um, people do, like, I was doing, like, online research. I was, like, looking up what people were saying during their interviews. And now I don't know where I got mixed up. This morning I was trying to breathe and feel like comfortable. And I was walking around at home, I was feeling confident. When I was driving, I was still feeling confident. I called before going in. I felt confident then. But the moment the interview started, all of a sudden I, I got shy. And it was like a group interview, which I never had before, but that's not like an excuse, I feel like, um, you know, because I was aware that there was a high possibility of it being a group interview, and I felt confident beforehand, but then, I don't know, like, as it was, like, happening, I don't know, I got, like, nervous, I think I, like, gave up, um, <laughs> I don't know, like, I just felt myself, like, really, like, kind of, like, submit to the room, like, it was really weird. Yeah, I, I think I'm just having trouble, like, um, socially navigating, like, interviews, and, like, I don't know how, like, dishonest or fake, um, they, they actually want us to be, you know, um, I, I really, I, I have a bad gauge on that. Because they're constantly lying, um. Like, during the interview, <laughs> there was this point in the beginning where, um, the interview, and she's nice, like, I, I'm, I'm not saying, like, it, she's wrong, I'm not saying, like, it's bad, um, and then, like, I get it, but it's just, like, I don't understand, like, I don't understand, though, because we were doing the fucking interview shit, and, like, she was asking us, before she even asked us, she was like, okay, I want to ask you guys why you guys want to work here, and he's like, no, 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 wait. You know, I want it, I want this to be real. You know, tell me something interesting about yourself. And, like, I said something interesting about myself. And the other two talked about why they wanted to work there. And I felt like she liked them more. <laughs> like, like, why? Why say one thing? <laughs> and I know it. But, like, I don't know. If she was like, why do you want to work? I'd be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'd do it but like that's not what she asked and I wanted to follow the instruction of what she asked to prove that I'm listening but I don't think people care about that because I also forget I don't have I don't have an issue you know what I mean like I don't have like and it's not an issue but like, like I'm not sort of like different in the way that I process um social cues <clears throat> Um, compared to, like, what's, like, the norm or the standard, but in, like, a functioning way, like, 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 there's nothing about me chemically or, or, or physically that just allows me to, but I don't get, um, like, in English, I'm don't get this either, so, like, I'm not, I'm not weird. People from other countries don't understand this. I ask people how they are all the time, and I usually don't get a response. Because they think I'm asking, I'm, they think I'm saying hello. I'm not saying hello, I'm asking you how you're doing. I'm saying how are you, I didn't say hello. You know? But a lot of Americans... I should've got this with no cheese, I can taste it really heavy. But like, I'm a hypocrite because like, I keep saying I want to put dairy. But I won't say no to ranch dressing. I haven't made... I haven't made... Hold on. 
when I get hemp hearts, I'm gonna make my own ranch dressing, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, I want to have hemp hearts money, you know. I want to get there, so I can just randomly buy hemp hearts. <laughs> but um, when someone says, "How are you?" The, and the other person is just like not expecting like a response to that question like to me it doesn't mean anything but that because that's what it says like the question is like how are you it's not hello because hello is hello and how are you is how are you right but like I people look at me like I'm out of my fucking mind like my shit doesn't work right um because I'm like good how are you and then people don't say anything I'm like how are you you know and they're like you what did I say? <laughs> um, when I'm working too, I'll, I'll say, say to a customer, I, and they really don't expect it. Like they don't expect someone to ask them how they are and like have you know get a res produce a response. And like a customer, I'll be like, "How are you?" And um, the customer will be like, or sometimes they'll be like, 20? because they because they're just like. Why would I ask you, but the thing is, like, why would I ask you how old you are? Why would I ask you your age when I'm bringing you something that isn't alcohol? Why would I ask you how old you are? I'm asking you how you are. Because I said, I said that. put sweet tea in here. I was on a dating website recently. This man. His profile. I don't think he's um ethnic at all. I think he's a white man, maybe. I haven't talked to him. I haven't added him. This is an older gentleman. And, um, he, in his profile, he's like, my name is Jill. My name's Jill. I'm this age. I have this job. I'm looking for companionship. From, I want to get rid of that piece, but whatever. I'm looking for companionship from my young classy African American or Latina he said that's his preference and I really I don't get it you know
Look, like I have ethnic pride. Oh, boosting up women. Especially women of my ethnicity. Because those are my people. And here we are. But, like, I also don't know what he believes an African American or Latina girl is going to do for him. Exactly. Like, I don't know what he thinks in his fantasy what's going to happen that's different than, like, a white girl or an Asian girl or, like, like an indigenous person who's non-Latino or something. I, I don't know what he thinks is going to happen. You know, like, and it's not about body. I don't, I don't think unless he's, like, really stupid. Because, like, I see, I see girls in my ethnicity be, like, a bunch of different sizes and, like, shapes. Like, I see, like, really, really, like, skinny black girls who can be either, like, tall or short. You know, I see, like, 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 different types of, like, curvaceous women or voluptuous women. I see people who are, like, maybe, like, a average or, like, athletic. You know, I see, like, a lot of different body types. I see people with, like, long arms. I see people with, like, broad shoulders. I see people with narrow shoulders. I see people with narrow hips. I see people with wide hips. Like, I see people with have like a bunch of different like facial features and like hair textures whatever and above that like people just being like individuals like as people <laughs> outside of our bodies of our own like lived experiences and shit like me and another black girl could have like nothing in common at all Like, physically, mentally, I have nothing in common. No. But he did say specifically African-American, but same thing. Like, me and another African-American girl have nothing in common. We can look completely different and have everything about our personalities be like the opposite. So I don't know what we both offer the same man who somehow sees something similar between us. Like I wouldn't, I, I don't know what would be picked out. Yay. I'm dipping it up. It's good. I wish I had it, I had it a little bit sooner, but I had to drive over here. I didn't want to be in the parking lot. There's too many people. There's a lot more people here. But, um, you know, the people in the parking lot are walking. Paper in my mouth. Did you guys eat paper when you were children? When I was a little girl, I remember this day where I ripped the like a paper into really tiny little pieces, <laughs> and I had a little like um, what do you call a truck that's for like construction that you like shovel? 
and like even shovel. <laughs> they're big. You can like they're made to dig like giant ass holes for construction. Um, I can't think of what they're called right now because I'm illiterate. But I keep wanting to. I, but I keep wanting to say tractor in my mind, but it's not a tractor. Um, but it's a big piece of, um, machinery that dick holes with. Um, I had a toy one, and I ripped up little tiny pieces of paper, like really tiny small, and, like, I, like, piled them up inside, and I was like, ooh, yeah, these like, new beads that the, uh, material, and I was like, I kind of want to eat them, <laughs> you know, so I started eating the paper. And I was like, that's alright. <laughs> like, 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 I got one, and I was like, hmm. Like, I was a little nervous. I was hesitant. I was like, uh, I don't know. And let's see. <laughs> not, not so bad. And, you know, I had enough. <laughs> you know, I was sitting there eating paper. You know? <laughs> and that's me as a child. Um. So, what kind of paper are y'all interested in eating? <laughs> y'all eating paper recently? <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I have a really cute outfit on um, for my interview. It's for a cosmetic place, <laughs> so I have to wear all black. And I look, I look good. You know, I just get nervous. I think people, I think people misunderstand me being like. I think people misread me constantly, you know what I mean? Like, I don't express myself super well. Um, uh, what do you call it? Sometimes people will read my nerves as, like, incompetent. Ah! <laughs> I hear it. Ah! Ah! People will read, like, my, my nervousness as, like, incompetent. Oh. Or, um, like, ignorance. I, I, I know, I know people think that I'm, like, stupid. Like, I, I'm aware. <laughs> no, like, I know. And, like, I know that, like, it's, people are perceiving me as being, like, 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 airheaded or, like, um, thoughtless, you know? And it's not that, you know? I just get nervous. And when I'm not nervous, people are like, she must be nervous. Because they're, like, reading my body, like, all wrong. And they're, like, picking other shit up. Like, I have a um, benign existential tremor. I went to a neurologist. You know, so I just shake. Um, uh, but everyone's like, oh, you must be, like, spooked. You must be, like, scared or something. I'm like, <laughs> and it's like, no, I'm not. I'm not spooked. My body won't quit. <laughs> but that's just it, you know. Yeah, I think people just like read me incorrectly. Um, but I also don't like. I I guess I'm unsure. I guess sometimes I don't know how to like present my body. Um, that's hard for me, I guess. In a way that like people can read and understand. And I think I just have like also just issues with communication, just because um. I don't know, I don't, I sort of don't know how to distinguish the difference between what someone's saying and what they honestly mean in certain circumstances. Like, totally, like, I totally get when people are, like, not really telling the truth. Um, like, I get that, and I can read manipulative lies that are not only, um, that are like malicious based like I can tell when someone's like doing like purposeful harm um but like I I think I can't tell when someone's like putting on the on a front when they're saying they're not putting on a front in a professional environment like 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 to me I don't know like in my mind <laughs> I think like okay like if you're an employee, you know it's an act. If you're an employee in somewhere that's like kind of retail or some kind of um, customer service, like you're aware that it's an act. Like we're aware that it's an act. 
right like like no one's that nice no one gives a fuck about your products like no one cares about like the food like no one give a shit like we just work there you know like like at any kind of job that's like regular like that's like you know <laughs> a regular job that's in some kind of sales and I thought we all understood that it was an act you know what I mean I thought we all understood that so I don't know why we're acting with each other that's something that I never really like had a full grasp on because I always think with my own assumptions like like I don't know like I just in my mind I'm thinking like we know we're working so we know this is fake so maybe we can be real with each other and they'll present that kind of statement and then you're like okay yeah and then they're like no 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 I didn't mean that <laughs> but it's like why like why is the act so like encompassed like I don't understand why the theater isn't only on the stage and why it's backstage like I don't I don't understand why behind the scenes we're also in character like I don't understand that <laughs> like that I sort of don't get and that's like even like after after like working with people you know what I mean like I like after getting hired and you're like I get this like you know like like I get that this is like fake like, like I understand that this is fake and they're like yeah but it's it's kind of not and it's like why are you saying that <laughs> like why are you thinking that it's not fake why are you acting like it's not fake because I'm seeing people act like it's not fake and I'm seeing people act like it's real you know like I get it we're physically here and they're physically there and we're all physically here but we know that it's not it's not legitimate like um like we all don't care if you can get to the table or not or like I don't I, like I really don't give a shit about a stroller you know what I mean or like I don't care about high chairs like I don't care that that it's your birthday like I don't care um like in a in a service environment but like when I'm there I'm like oh my god yes like of course like these things like yeah like oh my god they're ready like hey like and we know that and we I thought we were supposed to know also <laughs> When the customer is like upset, like that's just like fake shit. Like, like, like it's just like not real. It's not, it's not affecting. But like, I'm seeing people get like passionate about it when it doesn't affect us. You know, I'm hearing people like complain about customers like long term a lot of times too. And they're like, oh, this customer, this customer, why, is, why are you bothered by the customer? You just work there. You work there. It's not real. It's phony. It's fake. The customers, they're acting a fool because they're alive. You know? Like, they're out of their mind. And they're just acting um, ill out in public with you. Because you work there. They don't give a shit. So, like, don't give a shit. Like, and it's like, pretend. Like, yeah, pretend to give a shit. But, like, I'm seeing people put, like, their real feelings in it and not acting like it's fake like I don't know it's it's so bizarre to me you know what I mean do you guys know do you guys know what I mean am I am I a lunatic am I out of it <laughs> you know I I thought we knew um did we not know anyway um I think I need to move on and go somewhere else um, and do something. I need to pick up some. <laughs> I tried to burp. It felt like I needed to burp, but it, it was it wasn't. We'll see later. <laughs> but um, I need to pick up some. Because I finally want to work on this damn thing I've been saying I was going to work on for about a few years now. Um, I kept saying I was going to do, like...
I need to get some like construction paper. That's why. So I'm gonna do some other stuff with it. It's gonna be like a really big project. It's gonna be really neat. Hopefully, like I do it right because I know I'm so critical of like other people's work, but I also like don't produce anything. So like. Like, I think I'm being critical with, like, the thought of, like, what I would do if I were in their position. But, like, I need to just, like, do it to see. Like, like but it's just gonna, like, I'm, I'm just been procrastinating on it just because it seems like a daunting task. And I wanted to, like, do it, like, a certain way. But, like, I don't think that's, like, feasible right now. Um, so I need to just, like, do it. I need to just start, um, doing it, like, immediately. Um because I'm not going to have, like, a day off in a while, and I want to make something soon. Like, I want to I want to produce something maybe, like, before Christmas. I, I didn't think that before, but, like, I'm feeling this, like, itch really bad that I need to hurry up and, like, start doing my stuff. Um, <sighs> I didn't finish eating, <laughs> but, like, I want <laughs> my fuck. I leaked into like the middle um seat thing bullshit um when I was uh, a younger girl I remember wanting to gleek really bad like I remember being like I want to I want to I'm so gross like I wanted to um I was like yeah I want to like shoot spit out of my mouth like <laughs> in like a, a fountainy way like <laughs> just to be able to like I guess low-key like I have a fantasy of like spitting acid so, like, um, I was like, yeah, I want to do that. It seems weird. Like, I like, um, finding out weird things you can do with a body. Um, and I remember I, I did it one time and I was like, oh, and like, now I just do it like uncontrollably. Like, I'll be doing something. And I'll be like, oh, like, I'm, and I'll just be talking, you know, just, you know, like I'm an animal. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nasty. Oh, uh, <laughs> so my spit doesn't need to be everywhere. But I'm also just like having a lot of issue with my mouth in general. Like I'm having like a lot of issue with my mouth area. And I, when I start getting more money, when I get this money, bitch, when I get this cash, um, <laughs> I'm gonna get my teeth done. I'm gonna just try to fix my teeth again. I used to have braces. Braces. This is what I'm talking about. I used to have braces because I have a really bad overbite, you know, I have a really bad overbite, and, um, I had a gap right here, my molars, my molars grow, like, sideways, like, naturally, they grow, like, inward, um, and then my bottom row here was just all fucked up, it was really, really crooked, I had, like, a tooth pushed back and like other teeth in front and like they had to put a spring but like they're okay but my overbite is fucking me up and I feel like this part is getting so spread out that it's difficult for me to pronounce things the way that I had been pronouncing them for like a long time it's now more of like an issue like I'm, I'm noticing that I have to try really hard to not produce like a lisp and um <laughs> I remember when I was in high school and I first got my braces off, I didn't want to wear my retainer um, because I was like, Leslie, you have glasses, you just had braces, um, you're not super cute, and you're kind of annoying, like a lot of annoying. You don't need to also have a lisp. But now I'm kind of, like, having it anyway, like, as an adult woman, and that's kind of weird. Um, I never wore my fucking retainer. Yeah, I, yeah, I just never did. I, I didn't like the lisp that I was having with it. And I was always, like, trying to put, like, a snack in my mouth. And the dentist was like, don't, just have it in when you're not eating. And I was like, I'm going to talk. So, like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Um, so I just didn't wear it. Uh, but now... I've been noticing my teeth just kind of like shifting and it's just becoming really difficult for me to pronounce pronounce things the way that I used to when um, my teeth were first corrected so I'm gonna need to get my mouth done um, in the future
dental stuff is so expensive. <laughs> but I, I just want to do like, like sort of like a bootleg Invisalign kind of um, shit just to like shift it slightly so I'm not having so much of an issue. Um, you know, I think it's just affecting my speech at this point and um, I find that really negative. I did speech therapy as a child. Um, <laughs> And I'm just, I'm just kind of, um, tired. I just want it to be, um, easier. But, um, salutations, bye-bye. And then it was nice eating with you. See you later.